to the OncoTarget YouTube channel. This interview is with Dr. Anatush Ganguly in the Department of Integrative Biology and Pharmacology at the University of Texas Medical School in Houston, Texas. They are talking about their manuscript, published in Volume 2, Issue 5 of OncoTarget, titled Class 3 Beta Tubulin Counteracts the Ability of Paclitaxel to Inhibit Cell Migration. Hi, I am Anatush Ganguly. I I am a faculty in the Cummings School of Medicine of University of Calgary. I work in microbiology, immunology, and infectious disease department. When I did my, this work, I was actually a postdoctoral fellow in UT Houston, and I was working in the in Department of Integrative Biology and Pharmacology. I should give a prelogue about this work, that is, microtubule targeted drugs has been used for 50 years, but we still have a little bit less understanding that how these drugs act. The current dogma is that the microtubule targeted drug, they actually inhibit the cells, and they arrest the cells in mitosis, and the cells die, the cells which has been stuck in mitosis, they die eventually. But what we have seen, and also other groups have observed that at a much less concentration, than the antimicrobial concentration, these drugs also can inhibit cell migration. When we did a detailed analysis, we did see the cells did not change directionality. Cells spend most of the time in pause period, and cells actually uh, do not move forward because something is preventing to retract their tails. When we did the analysis, we have seen that the microtubules at the rear edge of the moving or the migrating cells, they actually do not expand or retract. That is the dynamicity of the microtubule gets lost and the cells do not move forward. This tells that the microtubule targeted drugs can be used at a low concentration as an anti-metastatic drug or anti-angiogenic drugs, which we have published in many publications. Now, about this paper is about how beta-3 tubulin overexpression, it counteracts the ability of paclitaxel to inhibit cell migration. So beta-3 tubulin is a neuron-specific isotype of tubulin, but it is expressed in certain kinds of cancer. And if it is expressed in cancer, it actually correlates with poor outcome as a result of chemotherapy. So what is the reason behind that when we started to investigate that. We started to investigate several cancer cell lines like MCF7, U145, and we have seen that a subpopulation of the cancer cells, they actually overexpress beta-3 tubulin. Other cells do not have beta-3 at all. And when we have added paclitaxel, we have seen that the beta-3 tubulin expressed cells, they are migrating, but non-beta-3 uh, expressing cells, they are not migrating. Now, you know the cancer cells, they are having lots of genetic defects and it could be due to many errors in the cell type. So we went to, this is one of the challenge of our work, that is we went to uh, do a basic science that is basic biology that is our observation true. So we transfected clonal mammalian cells with beta-3 tubulin construct and then we overexpressed it. And we have overexpressed in a tightly regulated system, that is a tets of system. And then we actually allowed those cells to express beta-3 tubulin, and then we have mixed it with the normal mammalian cells. And then we actually allowed them to co-migrate. And we have seen actually both the cells, that beta-3 express cells and the non-beta-3 express cells, they migrate equally well. But when we had it, paclitaxel, what we did see that the beta-3 express cells, they are migrating, but the non-beta-3 expressing cells, they are not migrating. This tells that we can use drugs at non-toxic concentration to inhibit cell migration, but we should do it with caution. That is, if we are having cancer with beta-3 tubulin overexpression, we cannot, we need higher drug concentration to resist the cell migration. So if the cells overexpress beta-3, we should use microtubule-targeted drugs, which are clinically tested now in the market also, 
like ixabepilone, they specifically target beta-3 tubulin. We should test them to see if ixabepilone can actually inhibit beta-3 overexpress tumors migration if there is having better therapeutic outcome. Another way is actually we have later published uh, as a follow-up in Oncoscience that perilocyte, that is one of the drugs which is isolated from marine sponges, can actually inhibit cell migration at a much, much lower dose than paclitaxel. Those drugs can be used as an anti-migratory drug or anti-angiogenic drug at a much higher efficiency. OncoTarget was launched in 2010 as a traditional peer-reviewed journal with free access that focused primarily on cancer research. Currently, OncoTarget is a multidisciplinary journal which publishes in weekly issues and is covering topics beyond oncology in fields such as neuroscience, immunology, pathology, and more. You can click on the link in the description below to order a reprint or read the manuscript that was discussed in this interview on OncoTarget.com. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you.